Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, which is a review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. What is this? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, the energy. I was going to say, oh, the energy today, Taurus. Um, I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But I do kind of have to question it a little bit. Everyone has their, let's just say, their preferences of the dynamic within their own relationships and their own connections. Um, everyone's relationship and connection is definitely unique and different than anyone else's. But I will point out what I am observing here. Jumping into this only because the emotions, let's just say this, the emotions and their actions aren't lining up. If you catch my drift, their emotions and their actions aren't lining up. Jumping into this, what they're saying is there are so many fond memories here and it definitely is something between the two of you. At the same time, they're choosing to kind of focus on finances, which are a little bit difficult and tight right now. Um, overall with this though, I do see that they are showing up in an energy as well as of course you are as well, Taurus, you guys are matching and mirroring each other. Now, whatever this energy is, um, I will say it, there's a slight manipulation of looks, appearances, and aesthetics between the two of you. It's an energy of, and like I said, of course, if that's your thing to kind of flirt and kind of have that type of energy exchange between the two of you, that's your thing. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you, they're not 100% fully trusting themselves or listening to their instincts. And I almost feel like both of you are mirroring each other in such a way where it's almost like a tit for tat manipulation tactic between like, well, I know they have, they're attracted to me and I know I'm attracted to them. So let's just kind of flirt and play this cat and mouse game and see what kind of comes out of this and focus on moving forward, which they are wanting to do. They're strongly believing in this, but they want to find out more information on top of all this. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what some of this is. It's almost like there's a healthy way to do this. And that lets me know right there that if this is something that you guys either have or haven't talked about, probably needs to be talked about. There's flirtation, there's temptation, and there's all that. At the same time, then there's also just straight manipulation. Let's see. And that's what I thought. They're showing me emotionally, there's a lot of fond memories here, but they're not too sure exactly where they land emotionally. Like, yeah, we do have a history. We do have a record with one another. Um, but they themselves are ultimately saying they feel trapped. They feel stuck. They don't exactly know what to think. And that, because of that, they don't know where they're at emotionally. Like I said, there's a difference between temptation and just manipulation. Look, I'm going to keep bringing it back to that point because until I see something different, it is what it is. Yeah, regarding the finances, that's definitely something that they're wanting perspective and clarity on. Like, okay, well, I don't want to lose any more of what I've got, but that's what I'm talking about. If they're gaining perspective and clarity, where is this going to go? And so, like I said, they're more than, <laughs> okay, so there's clearly something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is manipulation. This is manipulation. I'm not going to beat around the bush with this one. This is manipulation. They're showing me the both of you. Now, here's the thing. You guys are showing up the same energy of this tit for tat game of, well, if you're not going to do this, I'm not going to do this. Well, if you're going to do this, I'm going to do this. Um, at the same time, you guys are dancing around each other in not the best way. 
they're ultimately saying, well, we do have a lot of fond memories, me and Taurus. At the same time, I don't know exactly where I'm at when it comes to my emotions between us after all this. Then they show me this energy of the manipulative mindset and perspective. They're saying they enjoy being in that energy. You see how this is not adding up? And that's what, exactly what I was talking about. They're well aware of what they're doing. That's manipulation. It's almost like someone has someone here wrapped around their finger. And like I said, they're not fully 100% trusting themselves. But they're ultimately saying, I'm not listening to myself, but I feel like this is what gets me recognition or gets me noticed. From Taurus? So is it a, what is this? <laughs> and the other, jeez, and the other energy is just like, I need to be by myself. See the difference here, Taurus? Uh, there's a difference. There's a difference. One knows they're using looks and aesthetics and appearances to manipulate because that's what brings them some sort of emotional fulfillment. The other is like, I may be playing tit for tat, but I'm not getting any type of emotional fulfillment out of this. It's energy of, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to do this. But one person's like, okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. The other person's like, I don't know how I am with this. Games. <laughs> okay, well, they're focused on moving forward and whatever changes they need to make regarding their finances. And then it just kind of switches. At the same time, I do kind of feel like they're having second thoughts about the way they're being, but are they? Ooh. That is marriage. That is marriage. They're hoping to still be married or get married with you. That's commitment. If you have to manipulate your way to get married with someone... Good luck. Good luck. That is going to bite so hard. It's all fun and games until it's not. No pun intended until it's not. K N O T. <laughs> yeah, and they're ultimately saying, I need more information before I actually decide. Like I said, like I just said, they're like, ah, they know their conscience is kicking in. It's like, I don't think you want to do that. And there's your synchronicity as well with it. Goodbye.